This guy got a $21,000 upgrade to first class on a flight from Dubai to New York City. Was it worth it? Oh yeah! Thousands of feet in the air, Casey Neistat is unpacking his toiletries and enjoying a hot shower. Yes, you heard that right, a hot shower. After all, he's a passenger on one of the world's most expensive flights, and he's been handed an enviable upgrade. In fact, the chance to scrub up and route is just one of the many luxuries that he's been lucky enough to enjoy. Fortunately, in September 2016, YouTube personality Neistat uploaded a video documenting the extraordinary experience he had on this Emirates flight. He had originally booked to travel business class from Dubai to New York City, but the stars were obviously in his favor that day. Yes, an ecstatic Neistat found himself upgraded to first class on the flight. Of course, he had to share his excitement with his YouTube fans, of which he has many. He even recorded a video message before boarding. He said in the resulting video, When I think about the greatest days in my entire life, I think of when my children were born, perhaps when my son graduated high school, or today. Naturally, Neistat did some research online to find out the value of the fantastic freebie that he had somehow managed to obtain. Shockingly, he quickly discovered that a first-class seat on the same flight would have set him back a fairly hefty chunk of cash – $21,635.30 to be exact. So what does more than $20,000 buy you on an airplane? Well, a whole lot of luxury. For the next 14 hours, Neistat documented every element of his first-class flight, and the resulting video has been turning people green with envy. As soon as Neistat was settled in his seat, he began examining the various items that had been laid out in the pod-like space. The snacks and the elegant writing kit? Fantastic! But he was much more excited about the electronic sliding doors that sealed off the area to create a private room. Next, Neistat discovered that he could use a control panel mounted in front of him to adjust the lighting in his room. At the touch of a button, blinds and then shutters descended over each of the three windows to completely cut out the bright daylight. Result. Then, Neistat found that his experience came with all of the things that you might expect from a normal airline seat, only much bigger and better. The TV is enormous here, he said. It's like a movie theater. It was the same story when it came to the onboard cuisine, too. Instead of having to eat meals at assigned times like regular passengers, Neistat and his fellow first-class travelers could choose what they wanted to eat from an extensive menu and order it whenever they felt hungry. It was a bit like being in a real restaurant. Plus, the menu, Neistat discovered, was one that wouldn't look out of place in a high-end dining establishment. For instance, canapes featured ingredients like smoked mackerel and veal, while the appetizers section included an indulgent dish of caviar. There was also an impressive drinks menu from which to choose. While most economy class passengers generally count themselves lucky to get free beer and wine, Neistat was able to select his preferred tipple from a range that included a 21-year-old single malt whiskey, a rare cognac, and Grey Goose vodka. Obviously, Neistat opted to dine on caviar and eagerly showed off the meticulously arranged plate to the camera. His verdict on the famously refined dish? Salty, he confessed. Of course, first-class airline seats really come into their own once the passengers decide to sleep, and Emirates' offering was no exception. In fact, Neistat opened a complimentary bag to reveal, among other things, slippers and a set of pajamas, although he remembered to pack his own. Then it was time for the seat to transform into a bed. There was even a turndown service akin to what you'd find in a luxury hotel, with a stewardess who assisted in equipping the bed with a duvet and bedding. After proclaiming it more comfortable than my bed at home, Neistat settled down for a nap. Amazingly, the best was still to come. After waking, Neistat headed to the onboard shower to take advantage of his pre-booked slot. For 30 minutes, he had full use of the plush washroom, complete with fluffy towels and fresh flower arrangements. Dreams do come true, Neistat enthused. I'm showering on an airplane. This is amazing. It's everything I hoped it would be. I'm 43,000 feet in the air right now." With that unmistakable highlight, Neistat's journey was at an end, although the story was just beginning. That's because the video of his flight went viral. It clearly tapped into people's desire to see how the other half live. Currently, the video has attracted almost 20 million views on YouTube, and it's been picked up by media outlets all over the world. And although some suspicious commenters have suggested that Neistat's online fame might have had an influence on the so-called free upgrade, 
he has insisted that he was not hired or paid by Emirates to make the film. So as he disembarked, Neistat offered some parting words on his brief flirtation with first-class life. It really does change your whole relationship with travel, he said. When you take what was the most painful part of traveling, and instead of that being a terrible experience, it goes from pain, well, it makes the whole experience of traveling so much more pleasurable. Please share this video with your friends below.